Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. I'm Rahim Rahim Tula. I'm joined today in the newsroom by Dr. Dieter Shemanke. He's a senior expert working at the GIZ, that's the project arm of Germany's Ministry for Economic Aid Development. They work on projects all across the world and they're here in Ukraine to help the government with its plans for decentralization. Dr. Schmanke, many thanks for joining us today in the newsroom. Yeah, thank you very much for the invitation. It's my pleasure uh, to talk and discuss uh, the not easy issues on public administration reform in Ukraine and especially decentralization. Perhaps to start, um, you could tell us uh, what your impressions are so far on the progress that Ukraine has made on its decentralization reforms. Ah, well, uh, that is uh, not an easy uh, question. Uh, uh, just to, to give um, a brief answer. Um, I think since the independence of, of Ukraine, uh, we have now uh, 25 years, uh, but in the first 15 years, nothing really was developed concerning the reform of the public sector and the public uh, administration. And it started in the early uh, uh, years of, of this century. Uh, and so we started in 2006 uh, to work together uh, with the government on public administration reform. Um, quite a lot of um, concepts were developed until 2009, but no implementation was done. And uh, so, and this, this has all had renewed vigor because of the pro-EU protests last year in, in Ukraine. Uh, right, right. Which uh, brought a new government into power. Yeah, and it, it is, of course, the, the present government or the government who came in, in, into power um, more than one year ago. And um, they had a high speed to, to develop uh, such programs and concepts. And now um, they are uh, really uh, working step by step. Um, they. And so what, what does that mean in practice? Uh, in practice, um, well, um, uh, Ukraine is a very centralized uh, country. Um, many things are really uh, decided uh, on, on the central level, um, which is compared to other European countries, uh, which is not the best solution. Because you have such a huge country here, uh, and the distances uh, from Lugansk to, to Lviv uh, are, are more than from Lviv to Munich. Uh, so uh, it's a very huge country, and you cannot run a country uh, by a center. Uh, you need decentralized structures. And so, is would central a centralized state is perhaps it would, would work in smaller states better? But because of Ukraine's size, mm -hmm. is that part of the reason why decentralization is needed here? Uh, it is part, but even if you uh, go to smaller, uh, smaller European countries, they at least have a very strong local self-government, which is of course one part of decentralization. It's not only uh, the communal level, because I was talking on, on Oblast and uh, Rayon also, but um, it's the smaller countries, uh, they have also decentralization in the sense of local self-government. This territorial reform uh, is one part uh, to strengthen local self-government. Local uh, territorial reform means you um, emerge small communes so that had, have uh, enough capacity, what we call administrative capacity, really to, to run an administration, to, uh, to serve proper um, uh, public services in a good quality. So ultimately then, uh, decentralization here is about delivering better public services to yeah. the citizens mm -hmm. in, their, in their local right. areas. Yes, yeah. the quality is there, and of course if you delegate tasks and functions to the local level, um, the ways to the administration is shorter. No? In these days you have to go to the county maybe or, or, or even to another agency f quite far away, uh, but now if, if it's uh, with, the, with the local administration the ways are shorter even if you merge of course it is this commune. Um, it's very much a, a long-term project. It's a long-term project and all together it, it was uh, two periods of parliament, that means eight years, no? all together, uh, till the implementation. And uh, well, you are now in the beginning here in, in Ukraine uh, in implementation. The concepts, uh, as I said, uh, the papers are there, uh, but the implementation, no? uh, and, and this will take time, no? this will take time. Um, I want to ask you if you can at all comment on um, 
the situation in East Ukraine with the conflict there, and has that had uh, any kind of influence on decentralization efforts, or will decentralization efforts succeed while this conflict is still going on? Um, as far as I, I can see, um, uh, of course, you, you, you develop a, a, a concept for the whole country. You cannot implement this concept uh, in the whole country because you have no influence in, 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 in certain territories. Um, but I think the, the conflict in, uh, in, in eastern Ukraine has no direct influence on, on this uh, reform and decentralization uh, policy. Uh, and and uh, I, I saw a map for uh, uh, oblast of uh, northern Lugansk. Uh, they, they, they are still working there also on the reform issues, no? as far as, as government has, has uh, influence. No? What does the future hold for Ukraine? Obviously, we've said it's a long-term project, um, but it's one that you think will ultimately be successful here. Uh, Ukraine should uh, should go this way. What they have decided uh, uh, now, uh, last year and and, and 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 in this year, should go this way. It takes at least ten years uh, until you have uh, uh, the public administration that can be compared with with the quality of a Swedish, uh, uh, of a, uh, a Danish, of of a Swiss, uh, of of an Austrian. Uh, public administration or even Polish uh, administration. It takes at least these 10, uh, 10 years. But if the, if the development will not be stopped, this is a signal. Now, if, there is a, if this country wants to go forward, if this country wants to modernize the public sector, uh, then, then this, this is a signal, a positive uh, signal. If not, if not, uh, then of course you, you will not get international inv investment. It's a long term, it's a long term perspective. And I always say, uh, well, I, I'm here since 2006, uh, joining and supporting uh, the issues of public administration reform. And I will come back to Ukraine as long as you have not finished the reform of public administration. And then the answer of the Ukrainian colleagues is, oh, then you will come back quite a long time and uh, this is my personal perspective to come back. Well I think that's uh, a nice and uh, somewhat optimistic note to end our discussion on uh, Dr. Dieter Schmanke. Thank you very much for coming into the uh, Ukraine Today newsroom. Okay thank you. Well, You're watching Ukraine Today that's all we have time for today. Join us again for another interview on decentralization as we'll be continuing our series. In Kiev this is Ukraine Today.